Hey folks, how's it going? Robert here. Look, I know it's been a while since I've done any videos. Uh, I'm setting up a, a place to camp and hunt in the last month and a half. I've been doing a lot of hunting. I've been a lot of spending a lot of time in the woods. So, anyways, apologize for not shooting any videos in the last four weeks, but uh, hopefully we'll make up for it here in the next couple of weeks. Check it out. I'm going to make applesauce. I'll show you something too I did. See these, I had no place to put my uh, um, magnet for your light. Yeah, my magnet for my light because my <laughs> roof is all. Had no place to put the magnet for my light, so what I did was is I put, I epoxied a quarter to the ceiling, and now I got a place for my light. See? Sticks to it because my light's got a magnet on the back of it. And I made three of them, made one over the fire pit, so, um, over the fire pit. It's not a fire pit propane stove and so anyway we're gonna make applesauce here tonight it's eight o'clock we're having a few beers and some wine so we're gonna make some uh, oh I got some strawberry wine that's what I'm gonna use for uh, seasoning put a little bit of sugar in but uh, this should make it taste real good this kind of tastes like jam eh? because it was made out of the remnants of the jam made three gallons of it but it's very very sweet with a little bit of daiquiri stuff in it so Check it out, we're gonna peel some apples, make some applesauce, that's what we're gonna do. Stay tuned, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there, just enough to boil them in, and boil them over the propane stove while we're sitting here getting warm by it anyway. Check it out. Got the apples all peeled, that's like a, a one liter saucepan. This is brook water right from the brook, filtered through a Brita filter, works pretty good. That right there is the stuff it keeps out of the water. Fair amount of stuff, eh? No tadpoles in it, so doing good. Nope. But the Brita filled the carbon. Active carbon works good. Anyway, we're going to put some water on these and let it boil. Just like that. Stuff's starting to boil now. It's all good. Stir it quite often. The last thing you want to do is burn it. Hey, check it out. I'm starting to stir in the... Uh, strawberry wine. Not very much of it either, eh? To get some cinnamon and strawberry flavor. I'll put some sugar in it too. And you know what? I'm not much for effing measuring, so you guys know it. That looks like about a half a cup. Yep. No, that's definitely half a cup. That's half a cup to a mason jar, 500 mils. This is what this is going to make. It's looking pretty good though. Yeah. <laughs> Be wicked on toast. <laughs> With butter. Yeah. Propane toast. Hank Hill say, nothing tastes like being cooked with propane. I'm just going to let that. Render down a little bit more and get thicker. This is all natural, no pectin. The leaves is the pectin. That's what'll make it into applesauce. Back after these messages. This is my buddy. I'm not gonna shine the light right in his face. Kind of scary looking. <laughs> don't make uh, <laughs> don't make gorilla faces. I took it off the heat for a while. Sitting over there, I put a cover on it. And we'll let it set for about an hour before we bottle it. You gotta remember this is redneck applesauce, so this is what I'm doing. I am taking this tub of farmer's gold margarine that was 279 and I'm reusing the effing tub as a bowl because I had to use it for something at that price. Tough man, you can't throw nothing out. Applesauce is getting there, so I need something to put my applesauce in. So this is what I'm gonna use. This has had meat in it from last week. It's kind of gross. Put it in the sink. And that's how I'm gonna wash my uh, dish. Using it's a uh, dial complete. It's an antimicrobial. I said that word right. <laughs> and if I didn't, 
and her Thai microbial. So this was a dish of meat. I washed this out and there was also a margarine in there. This is what I'm going to use to put my uh, Thought you would have had an onion bag to scrub that with. I got one in there, but I'm not using it yet. Yeah. Wasn't that bad. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Dave knows me. I'm going to wash the lid too. <laughs> Don't forget the lid. Anyway, this is just about ready to uh, put in our clean antimicrobial scrubbed with Dow Complete Margarine Container. We figure we're going to put it in a bit warm so it heats that up and seals them germs right in there good. It should kill everything, eh? Heat up enough. Don't only get it heat up to about, well, less than a melting point. Ah, uh, applesauce is made. Here you go. Sorry if I swear, but Sometimes I do. Six apples. Anyway, there, so you won't have to see the dog it's all clean. We're going to lid it. Put that in the fridge up here at the cabin, and that should up the tent, and that should uh, last all uh, all winter long. All winter long because uh, it's so cool up here that freeze. Uh, it'll freeze, and then you can come back and unfreeze it and unfreeze it because it won't hurt it. Hey, folks, how's it going? It's Robert here. <clears throat> Just so everybody knows. I'm not gone. I've just been really busy with getting the, the trailer set up and uh, I've been out doing a lot of crossbow hunting and I've been uh, doing a lot of hunting in general. I've been real busy. I've been doing a lot of hunting. Uh, doing a lot of crossbow hunting the last five weeks, six weeks. Um, but you guys, as from the video you seen, last night we made applesauce <laughs> while we were having drinks. So this is what the applesauce turned out like, which it didn't turn out too bad. It's pretty thick. I'm gonna give it a bit of a taste test. Mm. Oh, that's excellent. Gosh, that's good. I wish you guys could taste that so you know what it tastes like. But anyway, that was made out of some of my deer apples. Anyway, uh, we'll get some more videos shot in the next week or two here. I got a bunch. My camera messed up there. Uh, the screen's broke on and it's hardly working. Plus my phone, I got all kinds of video footage on my phone, but I can't get it off because the plug-in on my phone busted. And uh, I called them up to see about getting it repaired. And uh, I called them like November 5th. They said my warranty run out October 31st. So, so five days, so I'm pretty pissed about it. Plus my truck, I bought that new Ranger. Um, the frame broke and uh, the frame broke and uh, the transmission went within three days so I'm down to driving a motorbike at the moment so and it's getting cold it's starting to snow it's November so I don't know what I'm gonna do got no money to buy another truck so uh, trying to get the money back out of the guy we don't know how that's gonna work but anyway that's neither here nor there but that's what's going on in my life and uh, that's why I've been busy so glad you enjoyed the video on uh, making applesauce and uh, we'll talk to you all later.